So I get asked almost on a daily, weekly basis uh, from people who want me to make beats for them. Can I make a beat in a particular style without copying that particular song that they're referencing? And this is one thing that I pride myself on being able to do. Uh, so I'm tr I wanna show you guys today the process that I go through in making a track that is inspired by something else, but doesn't copy from that thing. And you can use these same tips and tricks that I tell you to apply also to your vocals, how you write your songs, your lyrics. Um, this applies to anything, but right now I'm gonna demonstrate the music. What I'm gonna be working on today is a remake, total reproduction of a song for Kelly Dante my girlfriend it's going to be the first song that we've ever worked on together uh so i figured i should document this process of me making the beat and uh it would be cool to like show that so um without further ado i'm working in machine and so like in some cases you'll be given a beat from the client or you are the person who needs the, the beat to be remade and you would want to listen to that beat and see what kind of tones and, and styles you can get from that beat. So I'll go ahead and switch to my desktop here. And what I have here is an Ugly God type beat. Now I've never really listened to Ugly God, but I would assume this matches that. <laughs> so a lot of guitars so far and some trap drums, right? Now this is a song called Roses and Violets that Kelly has had out before and the reason why she needs it re-released is because a lot of issues with beat stars and, and copyright nonsense. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this beat for her. Now she sent me this email that says um, she wants a soothing, melancholic, chill, yet groovy, lo-fi, hip-hop energy kind of beat. These are the vibes she put. Um, old school jazz, muted electric guitar, which is what we hear right there. Uh, with modern trap drumming. So we take the beat and the vibes that she's going for and we try to mash this all together uh, to create a brand new instrumental for a song. And uh, once again, you can do the same thing for vocals or songwriting or lyricism as well. Make sure you, you check to see what elements your client or you uh, want to implement the most so that you can focus around those instruments first before you get started on anything else you want to make sure you have those elements in play yeah that, that slight lag Oh, I don't know what to start with. Yeah, let's just start with. Uh. We'll layer some trap drums with this, but it's like, this is real vintage, lo-fi, chill. I would say. Uh, go. So you see how what I have so far is totally different from what we started with, even though I'm using kind of like the same um, influences. So we have this guitar in here, 
uh, with here. We'll add some more, but like we're just trying to get those hints in there, you know what I'm saying? The drums also, they're very soothing, very melancholic, I would say. Even the synths and the reverberation of how that's going, it, it brings across that mood of melancholy, smooth, chill. I mean, you see what, what's going on with my dude over here. So now I would say the thing we have to do is to modernize. The drums are already modern, but to add a little bit more of that trap sound. So, uh, yeah, Oh my gosh, Kelly, I really hope you like this, because if you don't, I gotta use it for my Oh, I forgot I was recording for a second. Hey! <laughs> I'm, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Let's go! Wait, so... So essentially, I mean, you guys see how I was able to take the same vibe of the original Roses and Violets here. The guitar intro, the muted guitar, electric, very chill. And then we came over here with our own guitar. Different progression, same, same uh, key. It's just my bar stretches out eight counts instead of just four, a four bar loop. And then right into, like the drum programming is definitely a little bit more uh, spacey in the one that I've created and hopefully she'll like that. But I did want to make sure that I implemented those trap drums, which is where those hi-hats come into play here. If I mute everything else, So it's like, you see what I'm saying? So 
we'll see if she likes it. I'm gonna send it to her. I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you found this video to be helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions or comments about today's video. If you are not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, set them to all so you'll be notified every time I upload, every time I upload a brand new video. And uh, that's it. As always, I appreciate y'all and stay legendary.